providing any charts, that's for sure. We, I think, yeah, we, we wanted to to get their their opinion and their yeah feelings about the music. I mean, I think that's the. Uh, I mean, all the musicians that are on the album. I mean, we're we're fans of what they do. So uh, I think it was very important to let them do whatever they felt would be appropriate for our music and to have their personalities on there because the idea that we would know exactly what they should play and in what manner would be like almost insulting because they know best what they do best and what is comfortable for them to play and then so we'd say well these are the chords this is the arrangement this is sort of what we're going for and then we just like nudged a bit and go like, yeah, maybe a bit more like that. Oh, that's good. Keep on doing that. More of that. And then it became so much better than I think we had anticipated as well. Um, because it's, it's, we wanted their personalities on there. We didn't just want the notes and the, and the instruments as such. We, want, we wanted them to be on the album with us and not just go in and do like playing the chords or anything like that. Yeah, like like uh, Jan and Anna, they got their yes. own tracks. <laughs> yeah. On the album. So, so yeah. And Mikael. Yeah, got his own. of course, yeah. Mikael. And Ulf. But, but not their own tracks, right? No. For the, oh, Mikael does his bass thing, right? And then we've got the, uh, and then we've got the baritone guitar thing, and then we've got the bass clarinet thing. Mm. And then we've got the tuba thing. That could almost be a oh, yeah. solo piece. Yeah, yeah they, all, they all deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> Elvira's counting, and, and then we've got Cecilia playing cello, and yeah. then we've got Tiger and Akiba. Yeah. And that's four out of... Two. <laughs> four out of two. Uh, why? Well, because it's... Uh, because women are smart. That's why. Women are smart, so they know a bad thing when they hear it. And when a bad thing doesn't end. And when a bad thing is in odd time signatures. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think that I, I had this idea that there would be that we we we'd made this album that was kind of like all over the place, and I thought it'd be kind of fun if, if you all of a sudden had someone in the album talking to you as a listener of the album, kind of like yeah, like an intermission thing. Here we are right now in this album, and uh, that felt like a uh, I'd never heard that before, having a message to directly to the listener. And I thought that could be a uh, an interesting thing to do. And then when when Shep started reading it, he was just so I mean we were in hysterics when we recorded it, it was so much fun. Yeah. And uh, just having that extra element of of surprise, not knowing that I mean all of a sudden there's someone talking to you as a listener felt like a uh, an interesting move we are halfway through this thing it's been fun so far hasn't it kids but i wouldn't know i have no idea 
collection of parking tickets and receipts. And before you know it, you're mumbling into a microphone in a basement in the suburbs. Somewhere.